Hello and welcome to another video, it's me, Winner Android, picking where we are the last time, where I basically just finished off the rest of Asia over here, taking over China and what was left over here, India and stuff, Japan, all the Pacific over here, and I originally planned to actually have all of that as a single war, but that ended up being two separate wars, basically, or three, I guess. Now, was at first going to have just one massive war take everything with a few phases in it but yeah that didn't really work out considering by the time i got to the indonesia i didn't have much of an army left over here to fight and yeah can't kind of call that off and just le leave indonesia australia and new zealand for later and yeah dealt with all that stuff quite easily afterwards so yeah united states are here fighting mexico still what has been going on for 12 years at this point got brazil and peru and that's basically it i think i'm gonna be going after brazil first and then i go to peru and see if the united states actually finished off mexico by then hopefully they will have finished them off by then but yeah Get these troops over here, so I can take over Brazil. Oh yeah, I can't actually do that because I got a peace treaty with them currently. From taking those islands over there in Pacific that they had. Oh well, guess I can just wait uh, 35 turns then. And just watch this war between the United States and Mexico for a bit. There we go. Time for War with Brazil. There we go. Brazil done. 16,000 casualties, that's it. Take all that. There we go. Good. Get some troops lined up on the borders at this point, I guess. Okay, so dealt with tons of province built team actually finished everything off over here completely, getting all that up to 100% at this point, and during that apparently Paraguay got independence over here against per from Peru, so yeah, I guess I'm going to be taking them over next actually. And also apparently Peru is now at war with Mexico, they went to war with them. So yeah, Mexico's dead. There you go. Finally got peace. United States took all of that, but didn't take this for some reason. Really? Ah, <sighs> damn. Oh, and you're at war with Canada now. Okay, sure. <laughs> hey, God. That's yeah. Because Peru didn't actually peace that same turn. They're now at war with Mexico. They should be able to win, to be honest. I should be able to, but I got the old Paraguay at this point, so yeah, I'm just going to do this. Um, where'd my army go? Yeah, I really don't like it when I get this bug, especially with how rare it is. <laughs> at least Paraguay didn't get the troops. There. Done. Got Paraguay. Nice. Oh, yeah. Because of that bug, that also means I lost all the troops I was sending over here from London. Now there's quite a few troops. I was telling you, I was pretty... That's enough to get 10,000 ships and every single one of those provinces along that border. Damn it. Okay, so that's the final orders there, basically. Sure, I guess. Hmm. Not that bad for me, I guess. Just gotta deal with Peru and Mexico. That's borders kind of a mess, so... Yeah, that's annoying. But I can deal with it, I guess. But uh, I do need to recruit more troops because of all those ships I lost due to that bug. Eh, 
damn it. So, yeah. I'm going to spend a little bit of time to recruit some troops right quick to replace all that stuff. Okay. Got another 400,000 troops recruited, so yeah. I think I'll go ahead and start this war with Peru and finish them all now. So I can get started on finishing things off over here. Finally. Get all this into my control and then I can go after Mexico. Okay, so at this point I've reduced Peru down to what? Germany controlled for most of this game, basically, at this point. Seriously, how long did Germany manage to survive here? Nearly 2,000 turns. God damn. Seriously? Jesus. But, um, yeah. Get all this stuff finished off here. Take these islands here as well. And that will be that. Ninety thousand casualties from Peru there. Okay. Uh, time to get troops lined up on the border over here against Mexico and deal with province stability and just deal with everything else basically before going after Mexico themselves and we'll also try and get Mexico to actually finish off all the other small countries before I go after them Okay, so while I was doing province stability and trying to get, you know, um, Mexico to take over all those smaller countries, there was apparently rebellion in this bit of lands that they controlled that ended up becoming Peru. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to finish off Peru again. There we go. Done. That's nice. So, let's move these troops up to Cuba. There we go. Now, to deal with Mexico, who is still having tons of rebellions popping up all the time due to the sheer amount of unrest they have, which is getting better, I guess. So there's that province there that's probably going to be starting rebellion very soon. Yep, there you go. Now, so I did get Mexico to go to El Salvador over here, but they didn't actually finish them off, apparently. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get them to do that again. 25 turns. Okay. Oh, boy. That's a lot of stuff there. I guess I can also... Take advantage of this time to see if they're going to get any more rebellions. Which it doesn't look like it. Which is good. Means I'm not going to have to deal with anything myself, I guess. Possibly. United States went toward Canada and got peace before doing a damn thing from what I can tell. Wow. Okay, sure. What's that there is that done. So, it is time to go after Mexico. Nice. Okay, third of the way apparently so far. And yeah, just gotta take what's basically Venezuela and Colombia at this point for uh, Mexico and then I'll be done with most of it okay so I have gotten all this under my control 
I just need to push up through Central America now. I just need to take those three provinces from Mexico there and these provinces up here. And that should be the final province. Nice. With a single province, Mexico is actually still stronger than Canada, apparently. Wow. Uh, 64,000 casualties in that war. Okay. Take all. There we go. Good. So I now have 184,000 extra troops just sitting there in Cuba. I already have 100,000 just sitting there for when I go to war with the United States. 10,000 in each of those provinces and... Okay, 34,000 there. Sure. Okay, just need to send up another 3,000. Must have been move some of them. There we go. Okay, that's quite a large group of rebels over here. The United States doesn't have actually dealt with all that. Wow. Okay. Well, I just gotta deal with province stability quickly here. For all this land I just got from Mexico, and then I'm going out to the United States to finish this game off. I guess I should probably go ahead and deal with Canada, maybe, first. Or I could just deal with Canada when I'm at for the United States. Eh. I'll do one of the two. Okay, I think it's time to put an end to this. There we go. 20,000 troops in every single one of these provinces here at this point. 90,000 troops going straight into Miami, or I guess 70,000 because I want to send some troops up to deal with wipe out those troops that are just sitting around doing nothing. 20,000 troops to go in there, 20 there, 20, 50,000 there and 50,000 there. Deal with that. These troops here, cross over to there. These troops go into Alaska. And these ships can deal with whatever's going on right there. Okay, just two turns. I'm already 10% of the way done with this, apparently. Great. Um, just continue pushing through over here in Mexico. And these ships gotta continue Letting up more and more to get over here. Send those ships back. Okay, fourth of the way done. At this point, I dealt with Canada. Took the three provinces they had. Eh, okay. So I gotta slowly move forward and everything over here. Just how long is Forex going to take me to fight? Finish the darn thing. Honestly, don't snow. Yeah. It's kind of started getting a bit annoying because the United States actually started fighting back. With a decent amount of troops. They got a decent amount of troops up here fighting me again. Against me up here. In Canada, which is quite annoying. And they've also started putting up a pretty good resistance over here as well. And kind of around here in Texas a bit as well. And then over here and stuff. But yeah, this is starting to collapse, which is great. Need to get some troops moving in over here into the Midwest to take all that. And, you know, just crush that stuff there so those troops can continue moving forward. 
And I really need to put a stop to this stuff over here in Canada. But that's all going to take a little bit of time to get all of that stuff completely under control. So yeah, for now I just gotta continue just trying to make things work. Okay, I kind of got some things under control now. I think the United States only has like another 7,000 troops left. Which is great, considering how many troops I've lost so far. Yeah, I think I've lost, uh, that's like half my army I've lost in this war. Which is honestly a lot more than I was expecting to lose. I honestly did not expect the United States to be this strong still. And there we go. Now that is the end. Finally. Goddamn. So, yeah. There. I'm just going to do that. Because I'm not sitting around in that stupid timeline. Actually, should probably do this there. Now save. There we go. Good. Over 3,000 turns for this game. I think this may be one of the longest ones I've done yet. Damn. But, yeah, there we go. Got everything under my control. And that's not exactly accurate considering all the troops I lost earlier to that bug. So, yeah, I'm not even sure exactly how many I have left. Maybe a hundred, two hundred thousand, maybe? I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, that's there is the end of this, I guess. So, yeah, timeline next, and that's the series done, and I'm going to be doing the Peru Bolivian Confederation, I think, back during the Victorian era for that other suggestion I got her earlier at the same time as I got this one. But, um, yeah. That's there is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.